we got into our second lockdown. So I dug up this uh, old project I was working on. Uh, it's going to be a small four-wheel drive rover, roughly around 30 by 20 inches. And uh, each side will be driven by this uh, two of these 24-volt scooter motor with built-in gearbox. Each of these motors are rated roughly around four or 500 load capacity. It will be a tank style uh, steering mechanism. And uh, initially I was going to just make this radio control, but uh, my son who's uh, smarter than me is going to make this autonomous. We're gonna try to make it autonomous. So stick around, we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. So this is what we got so far. I finished one side. So we have this uh, 24 volt geared motor that will feed left side. And gearing is uh, we have a, a 13 tooth sprocket that goes to 26. So that's uh, 221. And I'm gonna be I'm gonna do exact same thing to left side. So we got another of exact same motor which will fit right here and we'll just repeat the same process after that we'll, uh, we'll do the wiring I'm using number 40 uh, chain for, uh, for drivetrain. Okay, we got both side right and left all uh, assembled chain motors uh, sprockets so I'm just gonna apply uh, a little bit of juice see if the if they respond This is just six volt, so just gonna start increasing it. Can go up to 24 volt on this power supply. Okay, we got our battery housing ready. Robot will use two 12 volt batteries, each of them are 33 amp, and down the road we will upgrade to lithium ion battery. So 24 volt, 33 amp, and to control the motor, we'll be using this uh, ion motion control. Uh, it has a two motor output, each of them are 120 amp, which is way overkill for this, but this way we are future proving it in case if we go with the uh, a stronger motor we can still use same controller which will be mount right on this plate here
Well, a little bit of setback last night. Uh, we tried to power up this uh, speed controller. So once we feed our uh, 24 volt uh, power to this, instead of power, we end up having uh, smoke coming out of it. I guess this is diesel powered. Yeah, a little bit disappointing. Uh, so all the excitement about this being nice and overpowered is out of the door. But we have plan B. I got this two other controller. So this is Vector 883, which is 60 amp. And this one is a Talon SRX. Again, this one is 60 amp too. They're not matching, but if you test them out, it should work. So we're gonna uh, build with these and see either we can find a way to repair or get warranty. I believe company no longer exists. Uh, no surprises, right? So. Okay, let's just start building the control panel and go from there. Okay, this is a take two of our uh, control board. So uh, we'll have main power from battery coming to this 50 amp fuse. It will distribute it to this uh, fuse panel. Then we'll fit each of our motor controllers uh, with their own individual fuse. And then we'll uh, fit them out to motors. All right, take two off turning on. Hopefully this time we'll have no smoke. Yeah, no smoke. All right, all system on. We're just gonna do our first, first test. Using a uh, RC radio for now. After this one, we will uh, we'll, uh, install our uh, flight computer and uh, make it uh, smarter. Speed. Okay, we have our tires on. Uh, we have uh, we have our control board, so that would include our 150 amp main switch, uh, our computer switch and 24 volt charging, uh, char charging port. Well, we also have our uh, amperature and voltage display. Uh, for brain of this rover, we're gonna be using a Navio 2 sensor board for Raspberry Pi. So this computer have all the sensor that we will need in future to make this rover uh, autonomous. That wouldn't be my job, it would be my son's job, which is a little bit smarter than me. And uh, now, we're gonna set it up, we're gonna start it and then do first test before we cover it up. All right, computer is on. Power is on. Ready? 
Ready for some donuts? Looking good. So next step will be uh, we'll have some uh, aluminum sheets covering the bottom of the rover, sides and top. Okay, for our first main test, we're gonna pull uh, this uh, SUV with it. So this is uh, whatever, 3,000 pound Lexus SUV. So you have it connected there. Car is in neutral, nobody's in the driver's seat. It is an empty parking lot, so as far as safety goes, we are being very safe. And it's two of us. We might not get enough traction. If we don't, I'm just gonna step on the rover and uh, try to see how it pulls. All right, take out the slack. Okay, go for it. <laughs> Keep pulling. So our first test, uh, our surface was more flat. So we have the car in a little bit of more hilled area. So if we let go slack, car will start rolling. See that? Hold on. Let go. Yeah, see, car is rolling. All right, time to pull it uphill. Go. Keep pulling, keep pulling. So struggling this try. I'm just gonna step on it. Ah, no, it's good. Keep pulling. What? <laughs> go, 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 keep going, keep going.
Go full speed. Go full speed. Yeah. Well, this is it for this video. On next video, we'll be working on uh, autopilot and autonomous mode. And uh, see how that goes. Thank you for watching.